Did you purchase a lot of digital quilting designs because they were on sale? I sure did. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take those purchased digital quilting designs and start using them. But first, I think we need to talk about a couple of things having to do with computers. The thing I hear most often is I purchased some digital quilting designs, I downloaded them, but I have no idea where they are. First, I want to show you ways of searching for files on your computer. One of the easiest ways in the lower left, you will have a search box. So it's this little white box here with a magnifying glass. If you type in the name of the design files, you can have the computer search for them. Whenever you purchase designs off of a quilting site, they always send you an email confirming your purchase and then put a link back to their website where you can download the files. So at least if you have the email, you can type in the search bar the name of the file and have the computer search for it. Now some laptops and tablets are set up so that that search bar is not down there, even though they're Windows computers. Now if you will look at all the icons down here in the bottom, this bottom row is called the task bar, and that is where we want to put the search window. So if you right mouse click, it will open up a drop down menu. Go up to the very top where it says search, then navigate to the right, and the third one down says show search box. Make sure that that's checked and your search box will appear in the lower left of your screen in the taskbar. Another way for searching for files is using File Explorer, or Windows Explorer as it was called in a previous version of Windows. What it looks like is a little yellow file right here, also in your taskbar, and it allows you to look at the file structure on your computer and again, look for files. If you don't have it there, I want you to navigate over to the lower left where the four little windows are. And usually if you hover over that window, it'll say start. But I'm gonna have you click on that with your right mouse and it opens a drop down window. And about the third item up says File Explorer. If you don't have File Explorer in your taskbar, if you left mouse click, it will then place it in the taskbar and you will be able to navigate through it and find your files. This is a little more complicated than just using the search because it shows you the file structure of your computer. For example, if I left mouse click on File Explorer, it shows me a picture of everything that's on every folder that's on my computer. And what I like to tell people, if they're looking for something, the first thing they want to do is go to this PC. So if you click on this PC, it will indicate to you all the drives that are located on your laptop, on your desktop. And always, the C drive is the main drive on your computer. If you want to search for things, you can also go up to the upper right corner. And because you are in this PC, Whatever you type in there, your computer will search for throughout your whole computer. If you're using a mouse to navigate through your computer, you will have two buttons on your mouse. The left mouse button, it's the button that once you click it, it's going to make a decision, it's going to choose something, it's going to do something right now. If you click on the right mouse button, you're going to get options, you're going to get choices. So, for example, if I go to my window C, if I left mouse click, it's going to do something. It's going to immediately show me what's on the drive C and what files are located there. Now if I go back, so now I'm looking at my Windows C hard drive. If I right mouse click, then I get a whole series of options. And the other thing I like to tell people, if you are using your tablet to download your quilting files on, because some people only have the tablet, 
you want to purchase a mouse, a USB mouse for your tablet. It's just very difficult, as small as the tablet is, to touch only one thing at a time. And then if you want to copy and paste and move files around, it's very difficult to do with your finger or even with a stylus. If you're downloading files from the internet and you choose to download them to a jump drive or a thumb drive, that's always a good way to keep a backup of your design. As you go on to these digital quilting design sites, most of them ask you to create an account. They will maintain a backup of all the files that you have purchased from them. Sometimes I'll ask people, what browser are you using? Because sometimes downloading files from one browser or another is a little bit different. And so what the browser is, is just the name of the software that allows you to get to the internet. It's Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Bing. They're all just pieces of software that allow you to navigate out to the internet and to find a site where you want to download your digital file. Before I leave File Explorer, I want to show you is this folder over here called Downloads. By default, if you click on a download from a website, it's going to put that file by default in the Downloads folder. And then if I didn't find them there, I would probably go to the search bar and type in the name and allow the computer to find them for me. Okay, now that the computer nerd stuff is over with, we can get down to the business of downloading digital quilt files from the internet. Stay tuned for part two.